Hey, 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 I'm back. I'm here to introduce you to two wax vendors that I have come across and actually got the pleasure of melting their wax. The first one I'm gonna talk about is Kimry Ann's. This is her wax chunk. Let me take it out. I hate taking this out because Kimry Ann's wax chunks are very, very soft. And that's a good thing because if you don't have a lot of wax warmers, like I don't have a lot of wax. I have one hot plate and it's an 18 watt and one tea light uh, warmer, which I need to get some tea lights from. A lot of the wax, some of them, you, they say you need to use a 20 or 24 watt warmer because it may be a harder wax whiz as if it's if it's a softer wax, you can get away with using a lower wattage warmer. So her wax is very soft. Look at this. You can see how it's melting in my hand. But basically, I don't know if I said this, but this is the Cherry Bomb Lollipop Grape Explosion. Her pour date on this was 128.15. So when I got it from her, I was ready. I was able to melt it right away whereas I think if you get like a custom order from her you have to wait a little bit to let it cure more which basically this the fragrance oil is setting into the wax the more you let it cure the better uh, scent throw you're going to get from it and um, this smells so good again on cold sniff the grape is very prominent, but when you warm it, you just smell a whole <laughs> sweet scent. Oh my goodness. This wax tart, I melted for like almost three days, two and a half days. By the third day, I want to say I let it melt to about maybe five o'clock in the afternoon. And then, you know, the scent was kind of getting weak and I was ready to change it out to try something new. But you get very good scent throw from her wax tarts. I was able to smell this all the way into my bathroom and my warmer is in my bedroom and my room is pretty big. Uh, what else could I tell you about Kim Rianne's? She's on Facebook. She don't have a store. She sells off of her Facebook. She's a custom only wax vendor, which means that once you join her Facebook group, you look for the file that says custom orders and you edit the, the file and put your name next on the list. Currently, her list is at about 150, but she's on, she just got to number 100. But you gotta remember, it all depends on how big the orders are because these are custom orders. So this Cherry Bomb Lollipop Grape Explosion, this is three cents. She basically put these chunks in and the grape is an overpour. So she puts these chunks in and then she pours the grape over it. So these are three cents. You can When you do your custom order, you can pick any scent that you want. You know, you can get it in loaves. You can get in smiley faces. You can get it in these chunks right here. And these are all separate. So if somebody say they want two chunks and lollipop grape, cherry bomb explosion, and three and cotton candy, frosting, lemon sugar, birthday cake, that's what she do. You know, all of that stuff takes time. So um, she's very sweet, very good customer service. Very quick shipping on her ready to ship items. This was a ready to ship item, of course, because as I said, um, I'm number 135 on her custom list and she's just getting to number 100. So this, she does have a ready to ship file. It says RTS. And uh, basically whatever she has that's left over from her custom orders, she put on that RTS file. Basically, the RTS file right now is a little bit light. It's only two scent blends on there, and all together, she just have three wax chunks out of the two the two scent blends that are on there. So 
she will she does update often again as she gets through the custom orders whatever she has left over she adds to that list which sometimes is not a whole lot it may be two of one scent blend one of another three of another you know so and the ladies especially if you far down on a custom list they snap it up real quick her chunks these chunks right here she gives very, very nice big chunks these chunks are 350 each and her shipping is regular i think it's like six dollars and some change maybe it's just regular shipping nothing outrageous she sent it in the bubble mailer. She, I paid for it one day. She shipped it out either the same day or the next day. Uh, she, so she's a sweetheart, Kim Ann. I will put her link in the custom box. These bags are called polypropylene or something like that bags. I'm hoping I say it right. And these are special bags that they that they put the wax in. They don't put it in Ziploc bags because if you put it in a Ziploc bag, it said that the scent will get sucked out of the wax a whole lot quicker. So about time you get ready to use it, especially if you have tons of wax, it won't give you any or much of a scent throw. So these are polypropylene. I believe that's how you say it. And this particular one is a seal, a flat seal with some are like Ziplocs. I did order from an Etsy store called In The Clear, some Ziploc bags, so, because as you can see, all of the mess from opening and closing, and her, her wax is very soft, it's a little messy, and at some point, these stop sticking, and they start to open back up. So I will put them in the, the new bags that I ordered. I just didn't get them out the mailbox yet. <laughs> so this is Kim Ann's, you know, give her a try. I will leave her name in the description box and all you need to do is go on Facebook and put in Kimry Ann wax and it should pop up and you just go on and ask to, and put click the join and she will add you and you just go and take a look around the site go into the files read everything that you need to read and go where you need to go next is Victoria's design creation designer creations let me tell you, this woman, her wax is so gorgeous. It's literally, people use them as showpieces <laughs> and the centerpieces and stuff because they're so gorgeous. Her lows, she can make Hello Kitty. I mean, it's just crazy. I did order from her this past weekend, a pretty nice size order because her, she as well is a custom only, but she does have a website, whereas Kimry Ann does not have a website. But on her website, she only adds certain things. So if you go to her website, uh, Victoria's website, you have to click through all of the different um, links that's on the website, all of the different groups that's on the website, you know, uh, and she has a lot because a lot of her stuff she has sold out because it's not something that she's offering. So um, you just when you go to the website, you just click through the different groups on there to see what she has, if she has anything in that group. And she will explain to you how you can put in your sense if that particular item is, is customizable or not, or if it's something where she already has the scent picked out. This was sent to me in a D stash today, and because I had nothing in my warmer. I decided to pop this one in because I wanted to see what her stuff smells like, how good the scent throw was. So I will have some type of idea of what I was going to be getting. And I was hoping that it was going to be good since I placed a since I placed a semi big order. But this was in lemon lemon berry mousse. I did smell a little bit of the berry. But a lot of the lemon, y'all know I love lemon. So it was more like a warm lemon, like a lemon cake type of scent. And I love lemon as long as it's not like a cleaner type of lemon. I'm fine with it. It was just a small round tart. So I just popped the whole thing in. That's why I don't have a picture of it. Uh, I'm sad that it was just one <laughs> of the of the of a tart from Victoria. But this was like an extra sample that... The young lady who I de who I bought the de stash from sent to me. 
again, I, I mean, if you go to some YouTube page and search Victoria's Designer Creations and look at some of the wax that the ladies have bought, basically that is what you're getting. It's just like crazy how good she is with design, you know, the art that she makes from these wax. And it's actually wax. You almost don't want to melt it and cut it up because it's so pretty. But um, I've been melting this one. I believe this, this wax is probably anywhere from 10 months to a year old. And with that being said, I'm still getting a strong scent throw all the way to my bathroom from that one tart that's probably about a year old. No lie. I was utterly shocked, but that's what I was looking for to see how how good the scent throw was and how long her waxes last for. That's another thing when you're ordering from a wax vendor. You know, people go crazy over scented wax, but and you have so much. It's just like when we collect our hair products, where we have a closet from top to bottom, under the sinks, you know, under the in the refrigerator, you know, all of that stuff at some point is gonna go bad. That's how these ladies are with these wax, uh, with these wax tarts and these wax vendors. But the thing is, if if you can still get a good scent throw from it a year, two years later. That's a good wax maker. And that's why a lot of people go crazy for Rose Girls, the lady who have like an eight month to a year wait time because her her waxes last for two plus years. You like you still get a good scent throw like you just bought them yesterday or a month ago. You know, that's so although some companies you get that and you don't have to wait that long, but that's what people look for because they own so much. You don't want to throw away good money. And so I believe Victoria is the same way. You get her stuff is a great price for what you get. She gives you a lot. Her wax pieces are very big. You know, um, I you know, I don't know what else to say. You have to give her a try. Again, I will leave her name and you can just type it into the search box on Facebook to bring her up, ask to join, go into the files and look around. Very good customer service. Also, she's a sweetheart. She will answer you like this. I don't know how she get any work done because as soon as you message her, she's answering like this, you know? And so I'm also on her custom list. Again, she had like a, wasn't really a flash shell. She had like a small restock where she offered some items and so that's her way of keeping people happy because she has such a long custom list. Her custom list is like over 200 deep and she's just on like number 11 or 12. I'm like number 198. So I probably won't get around to anything custom, custom until um, next year. But as long as she keep having these restocks, I could kind of get certain things that I want to try, which is no problem with me. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please leave your comments in the box below and give me a thumbs up. Peace.